Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest news, trends, and innovations from thought leaders from within the digital infrastructure industry. And I am here with Mr. Mike Jones. Mike is the EVP of Global Operations and CTO at Salute. Mike, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you, Dean. Glad to be here. What an amazing show. I, I am uh, amazed every year that more and more people are here. Obviously, that puts a little bit of importance on our industry yeah, and curiosity. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm glad to be here with you today. You know, Mike, you also, I'm going to go off script immediately, if that's okay with you. You mentioned the event. It is packed here. It's fantastic. I have yeah. been I have been to this event a number of times. This is the most elbow to elbow I've been ever at this That's event. a good thing. That's yeah. a good thing. That means we're bringing new talent into the industry. Yeah. And certainly there's a lot of changes coming up with uh, AI and high performance computing. People need to be prepared and they're all curious about it. So we've got a good group here this week. You know what I'm curious about, Mike? What solution, uh, what a salute uh, does? Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about that? So Dean, in the last two years, we've really uh, fortified our life cycle services offering. Okay. Uh, there's five parts. I'll go through them briefly. Thank you. So advise, design, build, operate, and refresh. So if you think about the life cycle, advise is things like, I'm going to build a data center. I'm not really sure what operations is about. I need a trusted advisor. Help mm -hmm. me get through maybe even finding a tenant, right? Mm -hmm. In the design space, uh, we're looking at things like single point of failure and due diligence, get into build, and it's things about QAQC and commissioning. Certainly operate as FM services and IT services. Um, and then refresh, as you know, all those data centers built 10 years ago are up for refresh here in the yeah. next three to five years. Uh, and certainly there's a lot of legacy sites out there that are already starting to refresh. Mm -hmm. So we think we've got it covered from end to end. It's kind of like uh, you can start anywhere that you want and we can continue on or you can pop in for operate and we'll operate. Uh, we'd love to be along on the journey as much of that uh, as we can to help our clients. It sounds like soup to nuts consulting to me, and you know, uh, you know, uh, the and the the the, um, the thing that you that you mentioned that really kind of grabbed me was that that whole concept of refreshing. I gotta believe that given the the kind of technological advances that we're seeing, that refresh could not be any more relevant to their actual ability to continue to provide service. Yeah, it's not just a refresh of like for like. I think yeah. we're at a point in the industry where it's a, it's a refresh to set us up for the future. Yeah. So we're looking at things that are obviously more sustainable, uh, definitely more efficient, higher capacity workloads. Um, it's a we're in an inflection point in the industry where that refresh is is going to be to set us up for the next foreseeable future, not just. Uh, get me more of the same as what I had, you know, 10 years ago. Yeah. It's not about just getting bigger. It's about getting better. Better and smarter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Sure. Okay. Lots more to talk about. Thank you for that very much. Um, acquisitions. You've had two of them uh, recently. Number one, uh, Keystone in the UK and Advanced Data Center Consulting Group in the US. How are these acquisitions helping salute with uh, with your with your mission? So Keysource uh, should close here the first part of April. And what Keysource brings to us is a really solid advise and consult uh, practice, and then they get into design and build. Yeah. It's uh, based out of London. About 130 employees will be joining so Salute. It's a significant acquisition. Yeah, yeah. In, in the UK there, or in EMEA, it'll bolster our population to like almost 500 people uh, at Salute. Wow. And if you think back, you've been following us for a while. You think <laughs> I back. I was just going to say, this is not the five or six years five ago. Or six years ago. You know, we had a couple dozen, right? Yeah. So we're, yes. we're approaching 500, so we're pretty excited. And we're able to replicate a lot of those advisory services over here in the States. Uh -huh. uh, the second one we just announced last week, uh, ADCC, so Advanced Data Center Consulting Group, is really training uh, and consulting for AI. So we have purchased a group, obviously. It's run by a guy named John Schultz. Okay. Uh, and what he does, his company does, they train from the CEO to the technician, uh, all things AI. So... Um, demarcation, PG-25, CDUs, mm -hmm. leak detection, and then we can offer that training to our clients and we can consult with them. So when they're ready to make the move, yeah, we know how to do it. We know how to teach them how to do it. And that education is so important. So important. So we're pretty excited about that second one. The first one's yeah. good. It adds a lot of people and good yeah, yeah. services. Uh, and the ADCC, is that's a game changer for us. For sure. And that one will close here in, in April as well. So we're, uh, we're in inquisitive mode <laughs> yeah. for the right things, I think. And, I agree. Uh, they're definitely going to set us up for, for the future. Yeah, well, whatever you're doing, don't stop because, <laughs> because it's working. Um, but um, so, so finally, uh, Mike, where's all this going? 
Uh, we, everybody talks about AI. You can't leave the, the JSA hot seat without talking about it. But ultimately, um, from, from your seat, um, where, where is this going or where does it need to go? Or what, what's, what has to happen in order for us to actually see the benefits of the technologies that are quite literally happening to us in real time? So, Dean, I think there's two parts to the AI coin. One is, like we talked about, can you support, implement, maintain, repair mm -hmm. an AI infrastructure? To me, the, the thing that we're all going to see real soon is how do you leverage AI to be a better operator, right? So it's yeah. great that you've got uh, racks that are $3 million worth of gear and yeah. you can keep it up. But what are you doing to improve operations with AI telling you what the trends are, when things are going to happen in the future, yeah. predictive maintenance, potentially virtual plant operators? That's, that's the intriguing part is. Yeah. We're able to support it. How are we going to best leverage it and how are we going to make ourselves different? So yeah, I like both sides of the story and uh, we think we're on the right track. So you've got a great story and I appreciate your being here. Thank you very much. You bet. You bet. Thank you, Mike. And thank you viewers for watching JSA TV. We'll see you very soon.